Hey guys, welcome to another Midnight Maintenance rendition of the Fad Show. We're going to continue work on the Saab 95 Aero Wagon. So I got the new drain plug washer gasket in. Uh, so my plan is to go ahead and change the oil, change the air filter. I um, also brought my code reader in, so I'm going to check the check engine light and see what that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe start diagnosing a few other problems on the car. So with that, let's get into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Turn on the ignition and see what we've got for codes. All right, well, my code reader couldn't actually read the exact, or couldn't read the, basically the verb or noun code or whatever the verb, the, the words of the code, it just gave you the number, but I looked it up online and it looks like that is the, um, it's a like charge air bypass valve or turbo pressure bypass valve or something like that. I looked online at $16, so I reset the code. Um, and if it comes in again, I'll just go ahead and order that part. It also said that it could be caused by a leaky vacuum line. So when I'm in there changing the oil, I'll go ahead and see if I see any vacuum lines that have popped off. Um, but yeah, all right, so we'll pre proceed with the oil change. Hey guys, so I finished changing the oil. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about it before, but that code that, he, that it was throwing was for a uh, boost pressure control valve or turbo pressure control valve or something like that. Um, I found a loose vacuum line that I popped back on that wasn't on snugly, so that might be it. I reset the code. I'm gonna drive a little bit and see, uh, see what it does before I go ahead and replace that. Um, when I went to change the air filter, I realized it already had a high performance uh, K and N on there, so I just went in and cleaned that, and then I'll just return or sell the one I bought. Um, also, while I was in there, I took out and cleaned the mass airflow sensor. Um, but other than that, so I got everything done that I want to tonight. So that's pretty much it for tune-up on this car. The only thing I have left I want to do is transmission uh, fluid or oil, and then we'll start diagnosing the HVAC stuff, fix the broken speaker, uh, recondition the wheels, and then start working on the detail of this car. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good day.